What's up, everybody? It's AJ with eTrailer.com. Today, we're going to be checking out this dual purpose coupler lock from Trimax. So, this is going to go up in your coupler and have the bar that ratchets in place here and lock it. And not only can nobody mess with that part, nobody can hook up to your trailer when you're not around. This fills up the gap in the coupler. So, that's going to be harder for anybody to get any tools up there and try and wedge it out. If it was just a U lock, you could still mess with it you know, maybe pry on it. It's open on the side so that we can also use a cable lock at the same time. So not only is this gonna be locked up, you could use a cable to lock it in place as well. Nice thing about this coupler lock is the ball goes up there and fills up the coupler. That means that nobody can just hook up to the trailer and go away. So there is different kinds of locks that you can put, usually barrel locks that go to the side of the coupler, and that keeps the latch from coming up. Those work, those are usually thinner, so not as heavy duty. This is gonna be a heavy duty lock that fills up those gaps so that you can't even get tools in there to really pry on anything to get it off there. This is gonna fit a wide variety of couplers. So it's gonna fit one and seven eighths, two inch, and two and five sixteenths of an inch coupler. It's also gonna work with different style of couplers as well. You see we have the Demco Easy Latch. The bar fits right under there so you can still pop this up and release the ball, but it's not going anywhere because this is pushed down into place. So if anybody can even undo this, they're still, your trailer is safe. It's really easy to remove or install. We're gonna go through that process now. So we got the keys, you're gonna get two of them with it. Now if you turn the key, halfway that's going to be able to ratchet it in place we want to go all the way down with it that's going to loosen it so i can take the bottom portion off i'm going to unlatch the ball from the coupler that will remove and then the shackle is going to be last now when you're putting it back on you're going to take the shackle put it over the coupler and put the ball up in the coupler go ahead and latch it so that helps hold it there there's three different ways you can attach the base so right now I have the key in the up position. That means the teeth inside that will grab on the shackle are out of the way. So you can just slide it up into place, lock it, and it stays right there. Now you also have the ability to ratchet. So you would go halfway with the key, turn it down there. You see it's completely loose now. And go halfway, and then you could push it up into place that way too to get it tighter if you had a different style coupler. So it worked that time, but that way you have to kind of watch your hands. So I really like just locking it, taking those teeth out of there, getting into place, turn the key and you're good. Another thing with our lock, it does have a rubber dust cap that goes on there. That's gonna keep debris from getting in there and keep that lock working like the first time you got it. The whole assembly is gonna be made out of hardened steel. It feels heavy duty when I'm holding it. So I know that it's gonna hold up to, if somebody wanted to try and mess with it, they can try, but it's not gonna do anything. Overall, I do like this lock. I like the fact that it takes up the space in the coupler, makes it harder for anyone to get tools in here and try and pry it away. Plus, like I said, it's heavy duty and it feels like it. So I don't have to worry about it breaking easily if I dropped it or just being out in the sun or elements bothering it. It's not gonna do anything. It's gonna lock up that trailer. And anybody that looks at it, it's probably just gonna go to another trailer that doesn't have a lock anyway. Well, I think that does it. Thanks for hanging out and hope this helped.